Hey there, Swinners and Sharks. Ace of Vegas here, and I hope you're doing well, because I'll tell you what, MGM's IT staff sure isn't. It's the Ace of Vegas, the Ace of Vegas. Before we get started, I just wanted to give a quick shout out to our Patreon members for helping the channel grow. More on that later. Alright guys, obviously jokes aside, there's a big problem happening in MGM Las Vegas and all the MGM properties nationwide. The short of it is, all the MGM hotel properties have been hacked and they're running on life support. Here's the official statement from MGM Resorts International. MGM Resorts identified a cybersecurity issue affecting some of the company's systems. Promptly after detecting the issue, we quickly began an investigation with assistance from leading external cybersecurity experts. We also notified law enforcement and took prompt action to protect our systems and data, including shutting down certain systems. Our investigation is ongoing and we are working diligently to determine the nature and scope of the matter. Okay, for those who don't speak corporate non-speak, let me break it down for you piece by piece. MGM found a hack that's affecting their internal and external computer systems. That means their websites, their apps, and even some internal computer systems for their employees aren't working. Beginning the investigation means that they hired an external cybersecurity company to have a look at it and see if they could fix it. The law enforcement agency that they're working with uh, to find the source of the attack is the FBI, because that's who deals with cyber attacks. <laughs> come on, you guys think Metro is really going to be able to help them out here? No, it's the FBI. The fuck is Metro going to do with a hacked computer system? Shoot at it? And the prompt action that they took was turning everything off. So while we don't know who the perpetrators are or where their motives are, we figure it's a ransomware attack and, you know, ransomware, ransom, you hold things for ransom when you want to get paid. Pretty easy to figure out. Today is day five of the hack, or if you're watching this on Patreon, day three of the hack, uh, link in the description box below. So that being said, I'm sure there are plenty of questions that people want answered. So let's present all the information first before we get into any of that. Number one, in the early morning hours of September 11th, 2023, MGM Resorts fell victim to the cyber attack. It's currently suspected to be a ransomware, which is a special type of virus that locks the user out of a computer or computer system until a fee is paid. Number two, this is a nationwide outage. Every MGM property from New York to California and of course Las Vegas is affected. Number three, the attack has impacted systems and servers that include, but aren't limited to, reservations, slot machines, external websites and apps, room keys, sports betting, customer data, and payment systems. According to a couple of Twitter leaks, employee intranet or internal systems are also inaccessible. Number four, you can still reach MGM and their ticketing affiliates by phone for reservations. Number five, as of this recording, the properties are still open and doing their best to maintain business as usual. Number six, MGM and the FBI still don't know who done it and might not know for some time. Okay, now that there's some information that you guys have on the attack, let's talk about what you can do. Needless to say, little things like dealing with your reservation, your show tickets, so on and so forth. MGM does have protocols for that, most of which involve phone numbers. I'll put those on the screen and in the description box below, of course, if you guys want to reference them later. But what's more important is what can you do as a guest to protect yourself on your vacation and to deal with this potential breach of your data? So I called in a cybersecurity expert. My buddy World Cinematics actually works in cybersecurity. So he had a couple of tips for us. Let's go ahead and listen in. Hey, it's Windows and Sharks. Feature Ace here. I ran into a little bit of an issue when I'm editing. I'm not sure what happened, but for whatever reason, my microphone was corrupted uh, after I processed the audio for this and it didn't come out right. So World Cinematics, luckily his answers are still there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a couple of uh, text blocks just ahead of each answer and then we'll use that instead. So we're, we're going to use that. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so, obviously, I for identity theft type of thing, I would do credit freeze or credit lock through the three credit bureaus. Whatever email you registered through MGM, 
you can check if your email has been pwned. So there's this website. I'll give it to you later, Ace, but you can put it on the description um, below. <laughs> Uh, I, but it's called have I been pwned so you'll just enter your email there and then it'll scan the dark web and don't be alarmed if you're if you have been pwned maybe you've been pwned a long time ago with this website it will tell you you know the date it was you know that identity or whatever that information was compromised you know but yeah so that's what I would do Uh, absolutely yeah absolutely yeah absolutely i mean anything tied to the mgm you know even including like you know your um i don't know maybe your facebook app or something because you know when you're playing my vegas maybe right um definitely change out your password if you can um I don't know, maybe pull out your credit card info out of your online account. Mm -hmm. Just remove it for now until you feel mm -hmm, until you feel comfortable. All right, Spinners and Sharks, but you heard it here first. Rotate out your passwords for your emails. Um, make sure that you're watching your credit report, your bank statements, all this good stuff. If you're a loyal MGM customer, just remember to protect yourself. And that's about all we have for today. Shout out to World Cinematics and really pull in for all the guys at MGM, everyone that's working on the infrastructure team, everyone that's working in the customer service team that's working these long hours to still take care of customers the whole way through. And here's hoping that we uh, we find that squad and uh, they, they come to justice. So fingers crossed on that. And uh, who knows, maybe we all get a couple of free rooms out of this. <laughs> And there, there's my notification that I need to get some work done, so I will catch up with you guys later. All right, Spinners and Sharks, that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed this story or found it informative, I'd appreciate a like, and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Before I go, I just wanted to take a minute to shout out our patrons. Guys, it means the world to me that you've chosen to support me in this way all this time and keep Ace of Vegas afloat. You can learn more about our Patreon in the description box down below. Also wanted to give another big thank you to World Cinematics for coming through and offering his cybersecurity expertise. Again, I apologize that the uh, we had the audio issues that we did, but I'm glad that we got the information from him, and hopefully that's going to be helpful for you guys going forward as MGM continues to deal with this. But until next time, Ace of Vegas is signing out, wishing you strong hands, and of course, happy spending, you guys. Viva Ace of Vegas Viva Ace of Vegas Viva Ace of Vegas Viva Ace of Vegas